post this. Um, I know it's a busy season for everyone. I know that it's the beginning of a busy season, but um, we can't we can't back off. We can't stop. Like we can't quit showing up. We can't give up on our own journey. And I just kind of feel like as a whole, we're kind of in a lull. Um, and I get that because I've been in that too. Um, but I can tell you why I was in that lull and I can tell you how I got out of that lull and I can, you know, let me shut the door. Um, so basically what I did was I let my foot off the gas. Um, I was just after my grandmother passed away and like these are excuses, but after my grandmother passed away and then going back to school, Millie says hi. Um, I was, I don't know, I just kind of got in a funk and then school like is so different this year and it's just so much and it's just I was coming home and I was just like drained like literally drained and then I was <laughs> I have fallen in love with being able to stay at home and work my business get up in the morning and work my business and be the housewife like I'm obsessed like now more than ever that's on my goal like that's what I want to do um to, to be able to do um so I just was slack and I was not doing what I needed to be doing. And it cost me, like, I saw it in my business. I saw it in my conversations. I saw it in my, like my post, like everything, um, which caused me then to get more in a funk because I was just like, like, seriously, like you're doing this now, like when your team, like we have hit y'all crazy goals and then I'm, I'm doing this this year. Like, what are you doing, Kelsey? Um, so anyway, I had to kind of get step back and see like what what are you what is the deal y'all know what my deal was <laughs> my quiet time was not priority anymore um I was getting up trying to get all the things done and my quiet time is what I was taking back and I was like I can do that and actually when I get home but then I would never do it and so we have done a complete reverse. So I'm not here to preach to you, but I am here to tell you that if you if you feel like you're just kind of like this, look at your priorities, look at where you are focusing your attention first. Um, because first and foremost, our relationship with Christ is the most important. So um, him first and make sure that you're making that commitment with him. So, It's a dog bone and a baseball in the dog kennel that she's trying to get out. Let me help her. So anyway, I um also so I, I'm making that commitment and I have a podcast I'm gonna share with you that I heard, I saw someone post and I said, like, I listened to that. And yesterday it was just like Oh, just what I needed to hear because what we focus our energy on what we like if we know that we need to like for me I know that I need to spend more time with God I know that my soul like just that's when I was on fire and I'm not saying do it because of that I'm saying <clears throat> like I spiritually was not complete because I don't think we'll ever be complete but I just I don't know I felt so good and and complete um and I do when I spend that time with him. And um, anyway, that podcast was talking about how the more you do it, the more you crave it, the more, and you know, we know that. So anyway, I'm preaching, so I'm gonna stop preaching. But check your priorities. Then get intentional because that's something else that I was not really doing is like I need to do, like I know that I need to. So again, writing out what I need to do every single day and making time for it. So that kind of changed for me with school. Um, so I get up at five every morning, no four. I exercise at four or that was what I was doing, exercising and then working at five. Um, so I, I'm having to kind of shift and work in the pocket. So if I can in the morning when I get up and I'm waiting for my energized to kick in, I can send friend request or I can um, 
go back and look at who watched my stories yesterday and send my invites then. But I'm just having to be intentional with what I do. But I'm working from my checklist. So what I wasn't do, what doing was actually doing the work behind the scenes that I know that I need to do. Because here's the truth. And Madison and I were talking about this yesterday. We like we both were like feel the same way, kind of in the sense that we're doing the work because like now I know I'm doing the work. I know that I'm doing what I need to do, but I feel like I'm just, <laughs> where, where are you at people? Like you're saying you want to do this. Like I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven people written down that were like all in gung ho that I knew. I know people just when they say they're going to do it, doesn't mean that they're going to do it. But then, you know, how they turn into invisible people. And I'm like, I'm, and I'm doing the work. I'm, they might not sign up now, but they will, okay? And just like by me doing the work, by me showing up and doing behind the scenes, not just what people can see um, and being committed, I'm at Success Club now. But you wanna know what it is? It's people that I've been talking to for a while. <laughs> So it's not brand new people for me this month. And I'm not saying that to be like, oh, I'm at Success Club. You know, I'm, I'm doing that because it's taken work. It's taken grit. It's taken me showing up. It's taken me following up with these people over and over and over and over and over. And that's why if you watched my story yesterday, I was taught, or one of these days, I was talking about how many times Val took, it took her following up with me. And then I'm glad that she bothered me. I'm glad that she kept, put, you know, following up with me because otherwise I wouldn't have done it. If she would have left me alone, I'd have been like, okay, I'm fine, you know, but she wouldn't, she wouldn't go away, she was like a fly that I wanted to swat, you know, but I couldn't, and I couldn't stop going to her page, and I wanted to see what she was doing, and all those things, and that's what, whether you know it, or whether you see it, or not, people are doing that to you, and they're following on your journey, and when they are ready, they will do it, um, I have one girl right now that I think is going to end up signing up, I know she is, um, but, and this is just another example of how God works, y'all. I mean, I pray for y'all every single day. I pray that God would, you know, bless you and take care of you and that he would send the people that we need to work with that need this opportunity that, you know, to, it could completely change their life too. Um, and there's this girl, anyway, she, we've been talking for over a year and um, she was like, she just had a baby. So she wanted to wait. Because obviously she wanted to wait because she had to do, you know, whatever. Then she was kind of like, well, I want to try the products and before I coach because she wants to coach too. And I was like, okay, whatever. Because um, I get that, you know, get a feel for it. So she was going to sign up as a discount coach. Finally got her talked into signing up as a discount coach just for the products. If you don't like it, you can cancel the coach membership, yada, yada, yada. Well, then she messages me back that she's going to talk about it, pray with her husband. You know, like we, we attract our people, y'all. Like she's our people. Um, but then she wants to, she thinks she's going to resign from her, like just randomly. I think I'm going to resign from my job and I don't know if it's going to be financially, whatever. I was like, okay, that's fine. Um, you know, I'm praying for you. That's a big decision, you know, whatever. Two days later, she emails me back or messages me back and she's like, okay, now how do I go and sign up under you? She hasn't signed up under me yet, but I think she's going to. The point of that is just the consistency and, and meeting her where she's at. So like, I'm still having conversations with her. I'm being real and being genuine um, and, and kind of meeting her exactly where her needs are at this time, but also not being afraid to kind of tell her up front. So like she, when she told me that she's wanting to leave her job, do you know exactly where I went? The coaching opportunity, because she would be incredible. And this is a, a way to make an income from home. Um, so don't be afraid to share. Don't be afraid to follow up. Don't be afraid to get confident. When people come to you, and I, I notice in my conversations, when I lead, like I am the boss hog, kind of like, not in an ugly way, but in a confident way. Like I lead the conversation. I tell you what you need because they're coming to us when they ask us questions or when we go to them, like this is something that I want you to have. This is something that has completely changed my life. This is something that I know you need and lead boldly, lead confidently with them because that will shift the entire conversation too. Because if you're just kind of like, okay, that's fine, thank you. Um, and letting them lead, 
like you, you know where they've gotten and they haven't done anything yet. So you be the, you be the leader. Um, I think what else? Okay. I'm just kind of like rambling today, sorry guys. Um, thing I'm going to, um, I have the big, I'm going to open up this weekend. I want, here, here's my brain, y'all. <laughs> And just in case y'all didn't know, I'm on quarantine for um, another week. I'm not sick. But the girl, one of my, the ladies on my hallway, bless her sweet soul, um, she's on quarantine. She was at work all week sick, coughing her head off and young and dumb. Sorry if y'all are young, dumb, and um, whatever. So at the ball field, Preston, my husband's been in New Mexico. He just got home Friday. He's been gone for two weeks. So last Saturday, I, I was at the ball, ball field, and my principal called to inform me that I couldn't come back to school until the 16th. Well, now I can't come back to the 19th. So I've been, you know, enjoying my time at home. Anyway. So, <clears throat> um, so during, since I have time at home, I was going to, you know, we have that ginormous Faith United Fit Club because we're doing the running program. And so I was like, okay, in case y'all don't know, we're joining with Val and Jen and our big team to have a launch pad for that group. Um, just to kind of, because we're going to do giveaways and just to kind of keep the momentum going and keep keep the spunk up and have more people to be active in there. <clears throat> So that'll be a one month group. So anybody that signs up with the running program, we're gonna add them into there. It's called the one where we run. If you need that link, let me know and I will give it to you, but you should all be in there if you are doing that program. And I can just tell y'all, I don't like, I don't know if y'all probably read my post sometimes, but like I thought I was a runner when I, before I started all this, I didn't know what I was doing. I would just run, <clears throat> I wanted to run, um, but I'm not a runner. Uh, but I can tell you this program is amazing and I, I like I am loving it. It's, it's hard and it's very intense and it's completely different, but I'm already seeing crazy results and even the, the strength training to me is just, it's so different. <clears throat> I'm like leg day yesterday was like super intense, but I like, I'm really, really enjoying it. So if you are doing the program or you're not yet and you're thinking about it, I say go for it because you will enjoy it. And make sure that you're in that group with us, the one where you run, it's like friends themed. Um, but what I was going to do for the drop of pumpkin, because I'm offering two challenge groups, and I think y'all should be doing that too, um, just because some people hear running and they're like, but I really think it's a great beginner program because I think that people could walk, they could begin by walking that program. And, then the, and whenever she says to jog, they could just start walking at a faster pace. And I think that for some people, that could be a life-changing program. Um, even if they didn't even do the strength training, they just did the walking. I mean, that would be a, a, a great way for them to, to get a win. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do Drop the Pumpkin, and I was going to just do it in a big group. Um, and I have mixed emotions about that just because it's so big, and I know some people are intimidated by that many people. Um, but it gets to be so much when I'm putting them in different places um so I didn't know if y'all wanted to join together and do a drop a pumpkin group if y'all wanted to do your own group or what but I think I'm going to open up a separate group for a drop a pumpkin and just have a small group for that and invite those from the locker room that need more one-on-one -on -one that are going to participate because <laughs> it's just it's a lot of work for the just dead bodies in there basically like there's 600 people and like three people show up in there and I'm guilty because I don't go in it and I, I, I'm calling myself out and I'm asking y'all to do the same like I know y'all have groups yourselves and I know like it gets to be a lot but if you want to do the group with me in October be present and be active and show up and do the assignments and drop sweaty selfies and and drop your meals for the day um drop your meal plans um I don't know because like people come in and, and then I feel like they're just ghosts. <laughs> and then it, it makes me like, I'm like, well, nobody's doing anything. I'm not going to post anything. 
and that's not writing there because that's not a good leader but that's what I did the past two months two weeks and I, I I'm trying to be better um and I found these cute little if you the in the ball spade group if y'all aren't in there you should request to join they have cute stuff in there um but they're a little quick and I thought well maybe surely they'll answer these but they're like um what's your favorite tv show what's your favorite breakfast cereal what was your first job name something on your bucket list just like random things I'm like maybe they'll at least comment on those to get the activity levels up okay so those are the two options the one where you run and drop a pumpkin I'm going to open that up today or tomorrow and I will drop that link into the thread for you to join and then we have let me find it I shared it in the group if you are interested in doing a rank in the bank okay it will start october 15th and go through november 19th this is going to be with um we're doing this with melanie metro and the, like the huge team so the pot of money will be big because there's tons of people um and i'm sure y'all you looked at the image um but for week one, October 15th or 21st, if you hit Success Club 5 and sign up a new coach, you get 10% of the payout. I mean, y'all can read. I'm not going to read all of it to you. But um, it is a $25 buy-in. So that's how they do the payouts each week. And I've done this before, and I've made like $100 a week. So, I mean, if you you can, depending on how many people hit it and how many people are in it, you know, Jen made like $1,400 one time. So crazy. Um, but it's, it's a good incentive if you have dropped rank, if you want to reach a rank, if you um, are just, you just want a good push, there will be training from the top leaders in the network. They're leading this group. Um, if you want that. Also, we have um, Monday night trainings. If y'all aren't in that Slay Squad group, get in that group okay um because what i've decided to do because it is busy and i know this season is kind of crazy on monday nights it, we're not going to have a team call every single week we might do them every other week um if something comes up we might but it just gets it gets to be a lot a lot and i know that um so what i want you to do is be present and make a commitment to watching and listening to those like even if you can't get on live they put the playback in there immediately so the next morning if I miss it the next morning when I get in the shower I listen to that Slay Squad group because they're they're incredible leaders and they're good content um the national wake-up calls y'all if you you can put those on your um put your earbuds in and listen or listen to the playback on that like Beachbody 411, you can go and listen to the, the playbacks and listen to like the last week was on the, the creator of the new running program. And just knowing because from that you can create and share in your stories. Make sure that you are posting in your stories. Make sure that you are talking in your stories. Make sure that you are sharing you and not just workouts because that's what people connect to. Um, make sure that when people go to your page, they can see that you're a coach. They can see that you do fitness and they can see that you have life. Like, what else do you do? Like, you and your family, you and your hobbies, like, share you too. Um, and then I just encourage you to, you know, this month is anytime there's a launch month, that is hugely to our advantage. And they have stacked us <laughs> for the remainder of the year. Like we have this coming out, we have Peppermint Shakeology coming out. And then December, we have the new autumn program, y'all. That is going to be freaking huge. Y'all know that anytime there's an autumn release, it's like crazy. Like I know Hillary's been here through all of, like <laughs> 21 day, no. But the 80 day, like you've been here through all that. And like, you know how big these can be because people know who she is and they want in on that and they know they're going to be good and they know they'll get results. So um, just, I, I'm just encouraging you to do the work now, even if you feel like nobody's seeing it, nobody's paying attention, nobody wants to do it. If you, if you tuck your tail and stop, then in December when it is booming or January, when you know it's like incredible, 
it's going to be a ghost town. If you continue to show up now, you continue to invite, you continue to add your friends, you continue to follow up, you continue to show up on social media, your people will come. Um, but it's just perseverance. Y'all, that was my word this year. That was my word this year, perseverance. And we, we have to do it. We have to show up and do the work, even on the days when we don't want to, even when we have a million reasons why, show up and just give what you got, okay? Um, because it does pay off. Make sure that you are listening to personal development too or, or reading your personal development. Um, Cause that's, it's so helpful. <laughs> and it helps us to kind of, you know, if you are, if you hate doing invites, like turn up some podcasts, turn up some music and listen to that and get into your zone and then get to work. I mean, things, little things like that, as silly as it sounds are very, very helpful. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I wanted to tell y'all this. So, let's see. Let me find it. My stomach's crawling. <laughs> okay, so we got word that we are. Let's see. I can't say my eyes. Bless it. We are 18th in the Southeast region, and we are 86 in the entire network. And that, y'all, that's just is crazy. And like I saw, um, that's, and that's a y'all thing. Like that is because y'all are changing lives. That is because y'all are incredible. And I'm, I'm honored to, to run alongside of y'all. Um, I don't know. And we're going to celebrate this year with that. I don't, well, if stupid Corona mess will ever go away. Um, but Carl, this week I should be, I should be leaving to go um, to Arizona to leadership leadership conference, and um, I was super bummed about that because that that was like a, a a goal that I had forever. Like that's something that I just oh, it just looks so fun, and it's it's kind of like new leader conference where you go and it's just smaller, and you get this one on one, and they spoil you, and they give you prizes and all this stuff. I'm totally driven by prizes, um, but I saw. Carl and his stories and you might can go back and watch it. I don't know if they're there or gone or not but it was them boxing up the the stuff for new leader conference because it's all going to be virtual this year now of course everything's virtual um which I'm glad and I I got to thinking you know I am on quarantine but with this new the way they're doing it virtually if you aren't there live they don't record it so if I wasn't at home this next week, I would have missed out totally on it. So it is a blessing in disguise <laughs> that I'm on quarantine because I actually get to be there for it um, and get top training and all the things that I'm going to bring back to y'all. And and you know you know that when I went to New Leader Conference, y'all remember my notebook? Y'all remember? And I like brought the fire and um, that I'm excited to fill up another notebook to bring back to y'all to give us the spunk to kind of get us through this last quarter and bring us into the new year. So um, I am incredibly honored to be your leader. Know that I am literally, when I say that I'm working in the trenches, I am working in the trenches with you. And don't think that you are alone and feeling like, because oh, <laughs> you're not, I, I, I feel the same way. Um, it is a hard season, but that not that does not give us permission to, to slack up. That does not give us permission to quit. That does not give us permission to, to stop showing up. So um, push through, push through. Um, on that podcast yesterday, I think, what was his saying? And I'm going to be quiet. Um, push through, work through the dip, work through the dip. And he was describing it as, you know, as a, the chart, whatever that thing's called. Um, and so many times, just like with our results and our challenges, sometimes they quit. He explained it in a way that sometimes or so many times we have people that they're in week two, one and two and they get good results and everything's going great. And then they get to week three and they're like, I just gained two pounds. This doesn't work. And then they quit. But if they would have just kept going week four, they might have dropped four or five pounds, you know, and gone through that plateau. And our businesses are so much like that. Um, if I would have quit when that girl teacher sent the screenshots of me and tried to, you know, but remember the girl that was in my Sunday school class, if I would have listened to her and let her get in my head, I would not be, I would not be able to experience the goodness that God had planned. I would not be able to 
be the person that I am right now. So when crap happens, when we feel like our back's against the wall, instead of giving up, we push into it. And people, people need, people need what we have to offer. People are looking to you for that light. Um, so in all this darkness, in all this politic mess, in all, in everything, be that light. People need a light. And so don't be afraid and don't back down. Just continue to shine, okay? All right, if y'all have questions, you can unmute clearly. I hope y'all have a beautiful day. It is rainy here. I have a question. Yes. What do you say to people that go, you tell them all the information and they're gonna like sign, they like are really interested and then they go, oh, thank you. You're so inspiring. And then that's it. <laughs> then that's when you put on your bossy pants. That is, um, I would, I would be like, um, thank them clearly. And then I would say, I'd get direct. So are you ready to change your life? Are you ready to go all in and give me 30 days? No, um, like 30 day money back guarantee. Like I would just be direct with them. Like I, I, I wasn't always this girl, but these programs that this opportunity truly changed my life. And I would talk about that in my stories. I would, I would be direct with them, but then those, are they watching your stories? Um, the last girl, no. What about she, your post? She was just commenting on my post. Make a post about it. And not, and, and I would do it like soon. Yeah. <laughs> not, you know, not, not tagging her in it or anything, but she, when she reads it, she'll know, oh, because it's sometimes the same for two gym memberships. Yeah, that's dumb. Yeah, that's what I say. Well, that, like I have a girl right now that I'm talking to that she she does she pays a trainer, she um, counts her macros like Madison. We were working one morning when I was like, "What do I say to this girl?" Um, and honestly, she counts and does all that stuff. But she wanted to know what I ate, how I worked out. I sent her the clips. I sent her the free workouts. I sent her a sample of what I was eating in one day. And she's like, that's it? That's all you do? Yes, baby. I'm not counting anything. Like, that's too much over here. Um, so I would, I would form that in. I would talk about it in my stories, Hillary, and then I would talk, make a post about it. And then at the bottom of that post, I would say, and if you're not following along on my journey, you need to be checking out my stories each day, something like that, to direct them to your stories so they can see how it works. Okay. All right, anybody else got a question? I know y'all are hiding, but I'm snapping a picture real quick. Maybe. All right. One, two, three, cheers. Okay. All right, thank y'all so much for hopping on. Again, remember Monday night, um, Slay Squad group, and then get active in the groups that we are going to have, and then um, Frank in the Bank. I urge y'all to do that. I think that's a great push. I think it's great training. Um, that's what I got. All right. Y'all have a good one. <laughs>